We are here to worship Almighty God, whose purposes are good, whose power sustains the world he has made, who loves us, though we have failed in his service, who gave Jesus Christ for the life of the world, who by his Holy Spirit leads us in his way. As we give thanks for his great works, we remember those who have lived and died in his service and in service of others. We pray for all who suffer through war and are in need. We ask for his help and blessing that we may do his will and that the whole world may acknowledge him as king. A reading from John chapter 15 verses 10 to 13. If you keep my commands, you will remain in my love just as I have kept my Father's commands and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. My command is this, love each other as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. On the 25th of April, Australians and New Zealanders worldwide observe a day of remembrance as a sign of respect to those who have served in wars, conflicts and peacekeeping operations. The date is significant as it was the first landing of the Anzac troops on the beaches of Gallipoli. Anzac stands for the Australian and New Zealand Army Corps, but Anzac Day represents an opportunity to remember all men, servicemen and women who have died in the line of service. What Anzac Day means for me, particularly this year on the 10th anniversary of the Anzac Day Iroquois crash, is to recognise all people who choose a life of service. When there is an emergency or a problem, there will always be people who run towards that emergency. Army and Navy and Air Force, police, ambulance services, doctors and nurses, teachers and community leaders. This year we can't stand together at an Anzac Day dawn service, but as our Prime Minister puts it, we are a team of five million doing the right thing in the service of New Zealand. So this year the values of the New Zealand Defence Force of courage, commitment and comradeship aren't just the values of the Defence Force, but of every New Zealander. This Anzac Day I'll be remembering those who have died in service, demonstrating those values. 
and I hope we can all show that they live on in all New Zealanders this year more than ever, lest we forget. Let us remember before God and commend to his sure keeping those who have died for their country in war, those who were members of this school and whose memory we treasure, and all who have lived and died in the service of mankind. Huntley School Rolls of Honour, 1914-1918 William Balcom Brown Rainsford Balcom Brown Hewitt Barnard Brown Malcolm Beatty William Busby Godfrey Elder Wyndham Fitzherbert Lance Fitzherbert Percival Fullerton Smith Owen Harper Thomas Higginson Ralph Johnston William Kane, John Kibble, Edwin Lane, Charles Levitt, Reginald Ludbrook, John Marshall, Cyril Nichols, Percy Owen, Hugh Palmer, Leslie Porritt. Arthur Pybus, Guy Russell, Lawrence Russell. Sydney Smith, Brian Taylor, Wyndon Toswell, Richard Wilde, Selwyn Williams, Noel Williams, Colin Williams, Master William Perry. 1939 to 1945, James Owen, Trevor Bagnell. Tim Bolton, Richard Busby, Woodley Cooper, Robin Dallimore, Richard French, Peter Fullerton Smith, Rupert Glendinney, Kenneth Gray, Arthur Grigg, Calvin Groves, Lloyd Gwynn, Anthony Hanna, Godfrey Harcourt, Dennis Hocking, Nathaniel Hodson, Philip Holt. Edgar Innes Jones, John Lloyd, Reginald Ludbrook, George Marshall, Hugh Marshall, Peter Martin, Peregrine Matson, Sidney Murphy, Gerald Nathan. Basil Openshaw. Ronald Shield. Charles Simpson. Seanark Smith. Arnold Williams. Jarvis Willis. Wynne Walks. Jack Wild Brown. They shall grow not old as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them.
Let us pray. Remember, O Lord, all those, the brave and the true, who have died the death of honour and are departed in the hope of the resurrection to eternal life. In that place of light from which sorrow and mourning are far banished, give them rest, O Lord, and grant to us who remain the spirit of service which may make us worthy of their sacrifice. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Eternal Lord God, we pray for the peace of the world. Especially, we commend to your mercy the homeless and refugees, those who have been dispossessed and have lost their employment, those whose families have been disrupted and who mourn the loss of loved ones. Grant that sane and selfless counsels may prevail in these places and wherever there is warfare. For Jesus Christ's sake, Amen. As our Lord taught us, we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. God grant grace to the living, rest to the departed. Peace, unity and concord be granted to the Church, the Queen, to New Zealand and to all people. To us and all of Jesus' disciples be granted life everlasting and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you and those you love, both now and forever. Amen.